Hi, I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Radovan. And we're here to show the most common problems in basic Git configuration. This goes after our previous video on basic config. So the first thing that might go wrong is that you don't have your name or email set, which Radovan will demonstrate here. Mm -hmm. And here to show that I have this local modification that I'm about to commit, git commit. And now I s git is telling me, please tell me who you are. I haven't set my name. I haven't set my email yet. It gives me, it gives me hints on how I can fix this. And I will do exactly that, git config. go over what this means and what email addresses you can use in our previous video. Right, okay. so, so this is the first so. common uh, problem. And then the second one, what, what we will try to emulate next. Yeah, so you can try to make your commit and a wrong editor comes up. So by wrong, we usually mean vim, which is very difficult to use and hard to exit. So unexpected editor. I haven't, I haven't set my editor here. And when I now try to commit, mm -hmm. what happened? Oh, uh, now for me it opened up. Oh, uh, this is Vim. Yeah. So Vim is here. So should we say how to use Vim or just how to exit it? You can say how we exit. Yeah. So if you land in this, it's I type escape. Yeah. Colon, Q, and enter. Yeah. And then I got out. Uh, since I didn't type any commit message, git aborted that commit. Mm -hmm. But now I want to fix the editor. Yeah. And to do that, we do what we did in the previous video and set the editor to nano. And instead of nano, if you have another favorite editor, you can you can modify that. But in ND, we have recommended nano if you if you are new to to yeah. text editors. And if I would try it now again, it would it, it would open up the commit message with uh, with nano. We want to show a third problem that we have seen in a couple of workshops, and that was. Uh, some of our participants have have set the editor to, for instance, Atom, which is uh, which is a popular editor. Mm -hmm. I have Atom here installed on the computer, and now again, I will try to make try to commit this change that I have staged. Right. Git commit enter. And so now says, Git is telling me. Uh, yeah. We're aborting it because it's empty. So what actually happened is Git started Adam, and then Adam said, okay, I'm starting, I'm done, and then exited right away. And Git saw that no changes have been made, but here it opens later after the fact. Yeah. So we need to make late. the command wait until the editor is done and then return. So, so I don't in know the general about case, close. So in the general case here, you would search for your editor and git configuration, and then someone on the internet will tell you what to do in order to set the editor right. So we already know what that is. So Radovan will come here and demonstrate the Adam case. I will fix it by typing git config edit global, where I can edit the configuration. Right. This takes now a couple of seconds on my computer. Uh, uh, but Atom is spinning up. Yeah, now the same thing happens where it doesn't wait to end. But in this case, it will just save the git config, so that's okay. And the solution is to type here minus nw and put this in quotes. Mm -hmm. And this will tell git to, to wait for the editor to to close to open and close before mm -hmm. uh, committing the message though so i guess actually it tells adam to wait to save before closing mm -hmm. 
So let me save that change. So let's save. And now let's try that again. Git status, git commit. Aha, yeah. uh -huh. okay, is waiting for the editor. Says, yeah, waiting to close the file, which is exactly what you want to do. And now I can type my, this is my commit message. Mm -hmm. Close, save, yes. And we have to commit, git log. Here is the, here is the right. commit that we just did. Yep. Good. So the final thing that could go wrong is that there is no git log output. And I think we've seen this on Anaconda with Windows sometimes. Right. Uh, is that the only case we've seen it? This is the only case that I've seen it. And I, at least I have no solution for that yet. Yeah. And it's not every time, just in some cases. <laughs> so if you notice that happening, from the previous video. Don't worry, just let us know in advance and we'll take a look and update our instructions later. Okay. Thanks, Richard, okay. and thanks for thanks for watching. Yes, thanks for watching.